our last presentation is the first place winner in the construction category. The Tianjin Chao Tai Fuk Tower submitted by China Construction 8th Engineering Division Corporation. This super-sized skyscraper designed by SOM integrates commerce, class A office space, luxury apartments, and a super five-star hotel into one structure. It has a 30, 390,000 square meter total construction area, constituting a four-story basement, a five-story podium, and a 103-story tower. Its architectural height is 530 meters. That's like more than half a kilometer. That's a pretty tall building. A sustainable design philosophy is deeply integrated. It will be, striking, it will be a striking new landmark in Tianjin and even North China. Here to tell us more is the BIM VDC manager who made this project possible. I'm Xin Yafei, BIM manager of Tianjin Chou Tai Fu project in China. Um, I know that uh, uh, it's my honor to stand here to share our BIM experience with all of you today. And I know that uh, BIM technology has been developed in US nearly about 20 years with mature BIM standards, mature softwares like Autodesk, and, success, and successful practice case like the uh, Freedom Tower, which symbolize independence and the freedom. The, the 541 meter tall building has a similar height uh, to Tianjin Chou Tai Fu project, both of which has the same, uh, same height, both of, both of uh, which has a similar height to the Tianjin Chou Tai Fu and, um, sorry. I see our American peers spend um, a little more than seven and a half years to complete this amazing skyscraper, which um, I think is um, pretty cool. So that how difficult is Tianjin Chou Tai Fu project? First, let, let me give you some numbers. Um, this 530 meters tall has um, 3,090,000 square meters and 300,000 uh, 300, cubic meter concrete and 30,000 ton straight uh, structure weight and 100,000 square meter facade area. So um, this kind of streamlined sculpture, which conceals uh, graceful curves and the complex nose, 14,000 curtain wall units are, were, are, are, were uh, arranged with virtually standard joints. And there is a complex spatial position shapes. So this each structure columns has a, um, uh, is a inclined, is a inclined in both positions. So there is a, also, a, there is a complex um, spatial position ship which each two columns. The truth to be told, um, we have very difficult time to build this project. We faced, we faced a lot of challenge. So uh, as you know, to solve the above difficulties, we put forward a, our goal known as three principles of beam applications strategy, namely all stuff 
full discipline and the whole process strategy, making better efforts to achieve the targets and to practice a site of integrated beam workflow. So do the time constraint. I will just focus on one topic, which is how beam connected most of the management chain in the, in the project. Let's see what we have done. So in my observation, beam technology is not used by one or two person. If you want to use beam in deeply, it should get everyone into this process. So, you, so we need all participants to join the round of the beam cycle. This theory, no construction without beam, has enjoyed popular support. Any on-site activities could be allowed only after across this plan, corroboration review based on beam. So during the design, detailed design phase, over 200 engineers has been working for, the, for it since our project started in March 2014. On behalf of the most optimal scheme, we will review once or many times before formal construction construction until all the clash issues, design mistakes on each professional construction document are eliminated. So uh, according to this area, in the past three years, we have achieved completely conformity between entities and models. And during the next prefabrication case, prefabrication phase, we use the Dynamo to impart the 3D coordinates to modeling in parameterization and reform an accurate, uh, accurate model. We use adaptive component function quickly drives the optimization and the modeling 15,000 curtain wall units. By leading the model into the numerical control machine, and automatically read the information. This is extremely improves the entity's precision. So during the construction side phase, uh, we put uh, we, the general schedule and each subcontractor's plan could be uploaded into the platform. And it could automatically compare the schedule duration and the real logistics data. They directly check the lag behind and the pre-act conditions. Responsibly published the reminder for schedule early warning. For instance, a window clean machine which located on the floor 71, his equipment QR code information from the, mod, from the ordering, transportation, entry, installation and acceptance can be easily upload, up, updated through the mobile device and be stored in the beam platform. Furthermore, we developed a collaboration platform based on the beam models. That's bring significant change to the project management. So in our beam cycle, QR code is well, is, is widely in use in, in our project. Every model component in Beam platform has a QR code like an identification card. So I think this is a key to connect the whole process to match the entities and the models one to one. You can locate, it, com, uh, you can locate it do documents by model components and in turns the components could be traced by the documents. So this kind of bidirectional linking method bring huge convenience uh, for all members involved in collaboration process. And I think it's really improves the, the collaboration efficiency. 
So this will, this will be the end of, of, of my speech. So overall, although we won the first place of EEC Excellent Award, and have a such great honor to stand here to share our BIM experience to all of you. But there is a, a long way to realize the delivery of LD500 model in this project. And I hope to share, our BIM, share more and learn more from all of you BIM experts. And I also wish that more global BIM experts could uh, launch communication and cooperation. So I sincerely invite you to visit the Tianjin Chou Taifu project and visit our company, China Construction Ace Engineering Deviation, and warmly welcome you to China. Thank you.